in the ancient library of Mystical Academy, young apprentice wizard Felix made a terrifying discovery. The school's most precious possession, the Codex of Ancient Spells, had vanished from its enchanted pedestal. This wasn't just any spell book. It contained the fundamental magic that kept the Academy's protective barriers strong and its floating towers aloft. Oh no, oh no, oh no, Felix muttered, his wand trembling in his hand. As the librarian's assistant, he had been responsible for checking the security spells before closing. Now, golden sparkles where the book once rested were slowly fading away, the last traces of its magical signature. His best friend Luna, a young potion master in training, found him pacing between towering bookshelves. We need to find it before tomorrow's full moon, she whispered urgently. Without the Codex's renewal spells, the Academy's magic will begin to unravel. Armed with Luna's tracking potion and Felix's talent for speaking with magical creatures, they began their search. The potion glowed brighter when they moved in the right direction, leading them first to the Academy's vast underground catacombs. There, they encountered Morris, an elderly ghost who loved solving riddles. The book you seek passed through here, he said, carried by shadows that whispered in ancient tongues. But I'll only tell you which way they went if you solve my riddle. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. I have roads, but no cars. What am I? A map, Luna exclaimed after a moment's thought. Morris nodded approvingly and pointed them toward a forgotten tunnel behind a sliding bookcase. The tunnel led them to the Whispering Woods, where trees rearranged themselves constantly. Felix called upon his squirrel friends, who reported seeing mysterious figures heading toward Crystal Cave. At the cave's entrance, they found peculiar footprints that changed shape every few seconds. Inside, crystals cast rainbow light across ice-like formations, making it difficult to distinguish real passages from reflections. Luna's tracking potion led them deeper into the cave, where they discovered an ancient magical security system, a series of floating rings that had to be aligned correctly to open a hidden door. Using knowledge from their history of magic classes, they recognized the patterns as constellations. Working together, they arranged the rings to match the night sky during the school's founding. The door creaked open, revealing a chamber where three junior chaos imps sat around the codex, trying unsuccessfully to read its contents. We just wanted to learn some proper chaos magic, the smallest imp explained, sniffling. Our pranks never work right. Instead of getting angry, Felix remembered something important. The codex isn't just about spells, it's about understanding magic's true nature. That's why only those with good intentions can read it. Luna added kindly, The Academy offers special classes for young magical creatures.